Hello everyone and welcome back to State of Decay. We're playing as Ray Liotta. We have a revolver, some snacks, some tussin, and some bullets. And I don't know what we're going to do with all that. Ah, there we go. We'll go help this person with a bloater problem. We can also train that other person just kind of standing around. I don't remember their name. That does not sound exciting. Let's take the cop car. I'm on the move. Roger that. Nah, <laughs> come get some zombies. I still need to find. Oh, right, I need to find uh, some stuff. Oh, Lily, you're still asking about ammo cache? Darn it. Well, maybe after the mission, I can never ask about materials. The material plane. Oh, shit. Are you ready for this? I didn't... I didn't pick up... Why do I forget to pick up melee weapons? Ah, well, whatever. That just forces me to use my gun. What's up? Let's do this. Ready to move. I really don't want to do this. What? You're gonna do it. Oh, I think I can. I even hear it. You're yep. mine now. Got there we go. Red the Yoda don't give an F. Oh, that's an armor zombie. I do kind of give. Really, two armor zombies when I don't have any. Where are you going? <laughs> I have no melee weapons, and they present me with armor zombies. Oh, you're dead. That was a pretty easy mission. I need to go back. Actually, no, I don't. All right? I should be able to pick it up from any of these apples. Where is the... There you are. Yeah, okay. Let's give good old Ray something. I do like the colors. Now, what do I... Do? You know what, I should probably do this. That's just, just been kind of sitting on the map forever. I feel kind of now. bad. I'm headed out. Copy that. Just so everybody knows, Ray is on the case. Something just came in over the radio. Wait. If you want to check it out, it's on your map. Where's that at? Ooh. That, I think I'll do first, and then maybe go for the scavenger. And then have Lily ask for materials. Now, back to things that are more important. Ha 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 ha. Pissing off zombies. Oh, oh. And I'm smoking. I guess it's a good time to talk about my one. my one time? Experience with the law? Yeah, one time. <laughs> I had to think about that. Technically, there was two, but it wasn't me driving at the time. But uh, there was a time when I was out of my home state visiting a friend, and we... Or not we, but I... Oh, shit. Hold on. Are you serious? There's an infestation at the spot that I can get the ammo from? Oh, my God. Alright, um, so anyway, I was driving back home after visiting my friend for the weekend. And, like, I had to leave at, you know, like, 7 in the morning. And we were kind of partying late at night. And so, stupid me, driving on the freeway, I passed a cop car. I passed a cop car. He was driving, by the way. I passed him going, like, 80 miles an hour. He was driving. He was in a like a truck in front of me, and so I swerved into another lane to pass the truck, and then I also passed the cop car going like 80. I think the speed limit was like 65 or something. 
So the, the cop pulls me over. I immediately get scared. I'm nervous. I just woke up like a half hour ago. Trying to get home. I'm not even in my current state, so I'm like, oh my god, if I have to go to like court, it's probably going to be court in this state. And so I'm going to do like a long journey again. And then the guy pulls me over, he looks at my eyes, and apparently, because I didn't get much much sleep, my eyes were pretty bloodshot. So he's like, uh, are you on anything, sir? And I was like, nope, nope, I'm not on anything. And he, he of course, didn't believe me. And so he actually had to give me a breathalyzer, which proved him wrong that I wasn't on anything. But what was pretty crazy, and how stupid I was back then, this was a couple years ago, he asked to search my car, and I was like, okay. And I opened up my glove compartment, and there was a gun in it. Now, it wasn't a real gun. It was a BB gun, but this BB gun looked almost exactly like a Glock. Like, it had an orange tip, but the orange tip was buried in, like, papers or something. So all the cop sees is this Glock that is within arm's reach of me. He looks up at me. He reaches for his gun, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, it's, it's fake. It's fake. It's just an airsoft gun. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, lucky for me... Didn't like um, he he didn't you know point his gun at me or anything. He just calmly took the gun, cause at that time I think like just to show him that I wasn't a threat. I remember just kind of um, putting my arms outside of my my uh, car window to try and get it as like far away from this you know airsoft gun as possible. So he calmly took the gun and then he was like, "Sir, can you open your trunk so I can put this in your trunk? This is something you shouldn't be driving with even if it's fake." And I was like, "Yep, yep, I'll open up my trunk, sir." And, um, I ended up not getting a ticket. I was speeding, he thought I was drunk driving, but he didn't give me a ticket. And he also found a gun in my car. He did tell me, though, that a lot of, a lot of officers he knows have been in similar situations where they pull people over, and those people have had, like, airsoft guns in the, in the front seat. And he's like, they tear the drivers out of the car and just throw them on the ground um, and kind of rough them up a little bit. I don't know, I guess it's in the right because it's probable cause because it looks like an actual gun. So this cop was actually really cool and he didn't even give me a ticket, which was also awesome. And I couldn't believe it since I was speeding, he thought I was, you know, under the influence and he also found a fake gun. So that's my, that's my cop story. That was the last time I got pulled over. And that was the last time I drove with an airsoft gun in my car. Unless it was like a paintball gun. And I, that was always in the trunk. What am I doing here? I'm just killing zombies. I'm getting off track just thinking about uh, that damn cop story. All quiet here. Is there another area where this could be? Like, I'm not seeing anything here. Uh, well, no. That's... What the hell? Am I blind? Oh no, the scavenger! That's that's what I was going for. Shit, guys, I am not seeing a glowing object at all. Besides that, obviously, I already checked that. Oh, oh, whoops. Okay, well that's pretty small. Like I. I wasn't looking at the ground. Scratch that off the wish list. All right. Tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll be ready. So, found some ammo. Told you my cop story. Can't believe I had a gun in my car. I had forgotten that all about that Glock being there. Because that was in there for like months. Because I remember me and a buddy got airsoft guns and thought it would be funny to always keep them in our car so randomly if we were driving um, around we can just start shooting each other with, with our with our airsoft gun, which actually happened a couple times uh, there was a few times that we happened to be driving to the same place and we would park and then like you know how friends are you just kind of know that shit's about to go down I would reach for my gun I look in my rearview mirror I already see his is out and we just start shooting at each other in a parking lot in our cars like what the <sighs> Good times. Stranger in trouble. Sure. We're over here. Probably should grab I'll a new car out, though. Thanks. Roger that. Man, this 
been a while since I've driven one of these things. I see so this was this was outside of town, right? This car is squirrely. And that looks like it's a truck I've used before, because the, the bumper's all messed up. I love finding old vehicles that I've dropped off. Hello! Can't do that right now. Anybody here? You see him? Zombies up ahead. Go around. Help. Oh, Jesus. I know you probably haven't heard of this, whatever. Oh, God. Ah. Break his fucking skull. Take the pirate cutlass. I thought I was dead. Alright, well. Yeah, you're welcome. Take care, I guess. Ooh. You know what? There is a horde nearby. I probably shouldn't fast search. Well, that was pretty easy. I guess since I'm out here, I can also go for the RV. I'll run this home. We'll see you soon. Which is right over there. Can I just get there through these woods? I probably should be able to, right? Maybe not? Maybe? I don't know. I've never... I guess there's still a lot of area I have not explored. I've not really been way back there. For any more hands, we'd be happy to join you. More people. You might want to go check it out. All right. Well, we'll get that on the way back then. Ah! Found it. You found the RV? Yeah. How does it look? Never mind. I'll check your journal when you get home. I'm sure it will be full of useful info. Let's get started as soon as we can. We need to get the thing roadworthy. You know, just in case. No problem. Yep. So the reason why I'm not even going that fast is because I don't want this truck to be destroyed. I've got a lead on something for you. I'm sending you the location now. And you found materials? Oh my god, right there? I'd still like to join you if you'll have us. I, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. What do I have currently? I think I have some ammo. Oh, materials are more important. Hmm. I guess it was too much to hope that we'd find a working RV. There's something wrong with the engine. What? Maybe we can fix it if we hammer on it for a while? What do you think? So we don't need fuel? Hold on. I drew a little RV on the home tab in my journal to remind me that we have a way out if we can get it running again. Oh. Okay. So each time we complete this level, the RV is going to require more and more things to operate. Okay. So we need 30 fuel and 20 materials. Okay. Where are those people at? Can't Drop do that, that right there. 
Hello, people. What do you? You won't be sorry. I could use an escort. Yep. Hmm. Pills, okay. huh? Okay. Loading up. Hmm. Eh. Nah. Let me look around a little bit more. Okay. Ah, screw it. There we go. Who else wants some? Zombies have number six. That little cutlass for everybody. Also, a nice little Let's six go. shooter. I really don't want to do this. So, I also want to find that. But that is also infested. So you know what? Maybe we'll Sit come tight. back to that. Bringing this stuff home. We'll be ready. Although this would be the best time to do it because I have multiple people with me already. Yeah. Looks like trouble up ahead. Oh yeah, there's some trouble, buddy. Where's that screamer? Woke up the neighbor now. That should do it. Okay, looking for ah, oh, there we go. Really excited for you. Scratch that off the Nice. Okay. Let's call for scavengers. Keep your eye on our right. We got zombies incoming. Cool. Are oh, you guys want a little bit? You want a little bit? Take it. Ray Liotta don't give a shit about you guys. Oh, that's armored. I got my whole posse here. I'm trying to raise up my shooting skills. Now, the crappy thing, I do have to leave the ammo back here, but I guess I can go back and pick it up at some point. And then hopefully the runner will get the other material. I don't know... I don't know if I've ever asked multiple people to watch my back before. I just kind of always assumed you could only ask one person at a time. I should probably try to ask more people and start clearing out some infestations. It could just be you can only get one person at a time, but I've never actually tried it. Other than these situations where, you know, you're escorting three people back home. Hey, look, there's our runner. I think. Are you going to, or? Yep, alright. He's heading over there. Okay. Here we are. Thanks. We Look got at all these trucks that are smoking. Damn, I'm tired. How's it going? Well, you know what, Ray? I'm almost there. You can rest. When you're dead. Ha ha ha. Uh. There you go. Don't say I never gave you nothing. Hmm, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. Okay. So we're gonna let Ray rest for a little bit. And I also think I'm going to end the video here, but I do want to upgrade our workshop so that we can start repairing the cars and other stuff. And I'll have Lily ask for more materials. So that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. I hope you enjoyed, and I am going to see you all next time. Take care.